Jose Cuervo Pro Beach Volleyball Series, the fourth event, the Hermosa Beach Open, our men's championship final. Jake Gibb, Sean Rosenthal, Casey Jennings, and Pedro Salgado. And an interesting coaching figure, Mike Dodd, who coached Gibb and Rosenthal at the 2008 Olympics, since has gone on to coach the Italian national team. And basically this weekend, he's a coach for hire, helping Jennings and Salgado. This is one of those all-star bands where you got the coach from silver medalist Mike Dodd on lead vocals. You got Pedro Salgado <laughs> playing drums from Brazil and the U.S. Uh, guitarist, Casey Jennings. One night and one night only. Mike Dodd with 66 career wins, had a fantastic international career. Van Beach played a long time with Tim Hovland, one of the other greats, and Mike Whitmarsh. So here we go, Sean Rosenthal serving it up. And here is Brazilian Pedro Salgado. Now, a lot of fans from the United States might be wondering, how is a Brazilian like Salgado playing in a U.S. tournament? There was a lot of uncertainty. He actually wanted to come out and play in Miami didn't get his visa actually until this Monday. Got on a flight on Tuesday. He's here for the weekend, ready to go. Jennings will serve it. 12-10 our score. And Gibb puts it away. Do you like the idea of the U.S. domestic tour, like the Cuervo Series, allowing international players to play? I got mixed feelings. <laughs> yes, you do. Got mixed feelings. I think that it's it's good to get some variety for our, especially our younger players to play against these guys, but it also helps build players from other countries, and we're kind of in a war. Jose Loyola, of course, the first great Brazilian to come over and play here in the United States. Now, normally you might get some older Brazilians or some older international guys, but Salgado, he's in his prime. He's 25 years old. He grew up in Rio. Yo, 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 yo. And he has a chance to be on the Brazilian team for the Olympics as Rosenthal rips one through the middle. So Salgado is the pride of the Brazilian Federation. He's 25 years old. In his short career, he's already won the U18 championships. He's won the under 21 twice. This guy's done it all. And today, teaming with his buddy, Casey Jennings. Salgado over the top. Good reach there for Pedro Salgado. So Casey Jennings goes back to Sir. Mentioned he has seven career wins. Uh, and uh, I'm a little nervous because if he wins today and gets his eighth, he will tie me on the all time list, which is way down there at 70th place, I was told by our crack production crew. Rosenthal running it down. Gibb shovels it out. Ooh. That's out of, out of bounds, outside the antenna. Wow, effort all the way. Sean Rosenthal running through that deep, deep sand like it's no big deal. Uh, talking about your career victories, how many do you think that you would have had if the uh, soap opera career hadn't picked off like it had? Well, I won seven events in 1977, and I was playing with Jim Megas the best player on the beach. In 1978, I got offered a job on a soap opera and went and did not play that year. So I think I would have continued to dominate modestly. As Salgado is up high. Well, Jake Gibb and Sean Rosenthal and the switch were tied at 14. Jake Alzina now is the coach for Jake Gibb and Sean Rosenthal. Tell me about him. Jeff Alzina, actually, I got to work with him a lot in the last few events this year. He works with Jesse Rambis, my young partner right now. He's a good X's and O guy, but he also pumps you up. He's a good energy guy. Jennings with the serve. Good first set. Battled the net between Spiker and Blocker. Rosenthal, and he hit it out. We sense a, a shift right now. Jake Gibbs started off. Hot, blocking three balls early on, but Pedro Salgado's blocked a few balls and he's starting to change shots. Gibbon Rosie led 12-9, and now it is 15-14, Jennings and Salgado, four straight points. That set looks a little tight as Gibb overpowers Salgado. <laughs> Something to watch for as we get closer to the end of the match, the set here, Jake Gibb will get a little nervous. In the past, historically, that's going to be kind of the, the key to the match, I think. How does Jake Gibb do late in sets? Gibb serving. Jennings. And Gibb into the net, says our umpire, Dave Carson. Our first referee today is Keith Murris, in case 
get some controversy. Of course, you're wondering about Todd Rogers and Phil Dahlhauser, the top American team defending Olympic champions. Uh, Dahlhauser sitting out this week, and Phil uh, Todd Rogers is still recuperating from knee surgery. They'll be back together again next year as Rosenthal goes on two. Given Rosenthal last week were telling me that after the 2008 Olympics, uh, they didn't feel discouraged. They felt like they had a really good Olympic experience. Coming in fifth, they lost to the defending uh, Olympic champions, and they are anxious to get back and try to do better. As Rosenthal spins one into the net. Now, just a little bit of the inconsistency for Sean Rosenthal. During a match, he'll do three things that nobody can do, and then he'll spin one into the net and hit one out. But as far as talent is concerned, this kid has it all. One point lead. Off the hands of Salgado. Good set from Sean Rosenthal. Kind of a lucky hit from Jake Gibb. I think in order for Jake Gibb and Sean Rosenthal to win this, he needs to start blocking some balls right now. Gibb with the serve. We're tied at 17. First set. Jennings, and Jennings drops it down the line. Of course, Casey Jennings, as you may know, married to Olympic gold medalist Kerry Walsh, to you by Jose Cuervo. Jose Cuervo reminds everyone to play hard and always drink responsibly. By Mitch, by Paul Mitchell, style isn't born, it's groomed. And by Spalding, the original and best ball on the beach.